Hi friends, alright so in this video we are going to work with the PyQt library and see how ChatGPT can actually help us create a simple GUI app. Alright so let's get started. Let's ask it very nicely. Okay so we are going to use PyQt5. All right, so it has generated that and it was like really quick. So let's copy this, open our VS code. And I've done nothing fancy here, just a simple folder, open it in here. Let's name it app.py, paste that code. And if you don't have this PyQt5 installed, make sure to install it with pip install PyQt5. All right, let's run this. And yeah, we have our application. Let's actually make it a bit larger. What were the passwords for that? Admin and secret. All right. Admin and secret. Let's submit that. And uh, we don't see any confirmation. So let's ask it what happened. Uh, we only have this confirmation here. So in our terminal. But we want to see an actual dialog box. So let's type that. All right, so it has created that. Let's uh, add this a little bit here. Let's paste that, run this code. All right, so now let's enter some invalid information. Yes, login failed, great. And now the correct one. Login successful, so great. So this is working. now. Since these are hard-coded values, let's see if it can help us create a proper database system with PyQt5. So let's say, All right, so this is a pretty big prompt. So I'm saying that we want a main window with register and login button and a separate window should open when we click on either the register button or login button. Then we want the database to be managed via SQLite and we want the functionalities related to each window. All right, so let's see if it can actually work on it. It has actually stopped in between. So I'm just going to type very nicely. Please finish the code. Actually rest of the code. Sometimes it actually starts from the beginning. So rest of the code. All right, so it is working on the login code. Let's see. Yeah, so that's good. Also, just a quick tip that you can actually tell it to work on a function, all right? So it doesn't repeat the whole code again and again. All right, so now we have actually made it a little bit complex. So we need to run this code first so that we can create this table. All right, when this database is available with this table, then we'll have to run the rest of the code. So let's take it step by step. So copy this code. All right, now let's create a new file named create db all right we are not going to do anything fancy here simply this code and we are going to run this separately then this code is for the main window all right and uh, all right so let's check so this is the code that needs to be replaced so let's copy it and it well it's literally the same no change there except this main window class so we have this class at the very top actually here so let's copy this and let's very carefully delete all of that and paste it so yeah our main window class is done let's uh, like hide it for now so we have main window register dialog login dialog all right after that we had this login dialog again added and finished in this code so we are actually going to remove this 
login dialog class it's incomplete so let's paste the complete one yeah until it is well displaying the message box so what's wonderful is that now you can actually appreciate how great uh, working on the chat gpt is it has created a good amount of code it took like uh, three to four minutes for this all right so yeah let's check i'm very very excited remember it told us to like create the tables first and then run that code let's try running this and yeah let's cancel this one so we don't have any errors great and we see this users.db uh, install an extension for it because we will be working so yeah let's install this sqlite viewer what do you say let's click here and open with sqlite viewer so yeah that's fine we don't want to change anything so our table has username and password great click on app.py and uh, yeah simply run it nothing fancy there so we have register and login button as requested click on register and uh, yeah this time type kk sonakia password is one two three submit registration successful great now click login and yeah uh, let's refresh it yes we have that okay great Let's click login. All right, so click this one here and one, two, three. Click submit. Login successful. Wonderful. So this was very, very exciting. I'm very happy. And yeah, you can actually tell it to make it more complex, little by little. So I was actually thinking of something just for trying this out so you see creating shadows in a pyqt5 is not well it's tough so let me see if we can do this with chat gpt that it can create a proper code for it so create shadow for the two buttons so yeah that's great let's stop generating and we want only this piece of code so for login button after let's close this so in main window, we have our buttons here. So for login button after this login self, let's paste that. And for register button, right after we have registered this button. And uh, yeah, let's try this. Uh, we don't have shadow, so maybe it failed as well. Well, we have some error in our terminal unknown property box shadow so yeah let's tell it that uh, we have found this error let's see if it can actually work all right so this is what i uh, used to do like with drop shadow effect and it's amazing that it figured it out i mean if you're a complete novice then chat gpt is actually going to tell you solutions that might work And we only need to have this part of the code let's copy that and uh, we will remove the box shadow property from there we don't have to change much so let's remove this and remove this as well all right and after this uh, login button i think yeah so login button clicked let's paste it now let's finally try to run it and yes, we have that little shadowy effect. You can see it here. Uh, we don't see it in the register for some reason, but we have it in the login button. So if we like maybe experiment with it, we will be able to make it amazing. So that's it for this video. I hope this video was fun and it has actually helped us create something nice. Remember to subscribe. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.